Now that the Turkey Bowl and Thanksgiving Day games are over, there's another big game to look forward to this weekend. ABC2 News' Sean Stepner gives us a preview. This very well could be the biggest game in the history of Johns Hopkins Homewood Field. Good, 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 good. The undefeated Blue Jays' quest for their first national championship continues this Saturday when they host 12 time and defending national champion Mount Union in the second round of the Division III NCAA tournament. It's just kind of a game that you dream of playing in, you know, as soon as you get here. Uh, I know as soon as I committed here, I've always dreamed of playing to them, so really just looking forward to it more than anything. Even though Hopkins is a heavy underdog entering the contest, they like their chances a little more knowing they're staying in Baltimore. It's obviously great to play at home and not take the however long eight-hour trip it is up there. We're excited that they have to come here and, you know, they have to beat us on our home field. Uh, you know, we know they're a great team and we're excited for the challenge. The Jays' offense brings some serious momentum into the contest here on Saturday. Senior quarterback Jonathan Germano throwing for a playoff school record 418 yards and four touchdowns in the 42-21 first-round victory over Randolph-Macon. Wanted to get that first win in the playoffs, and, I mean, everybody just played outstanding. That win also a milestone in this program's history. Head coach Jim Margraff securing career win number 200. As for Saturday, coach realizes the 10 and 1 Raiders present the Blue Jays' toughest matchup yet. They're just strong at every position. Uh, you know, it's a whole different type of football program. I think they bring in over 200 guys to camp. Uh, they run several practices a day. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big time program in a lot of ways. Uh, but our, our guys are, are up for that. Kickoff Saturday, set for noon. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, ABC2 News.